Alright, hello and welcome back to some more Dawn of War 2 Retribution. It's been a little bit since I did this, having done Halo Wars 2 main campaign as a nice in-between before we go back and do more of this. As per the poll I did, will we... We shall be doing the Orcs. So let's get in there. Orcs away! Ten years ago. We Blood Ravens destroyed the demon Alcair, ending his schemes to rot Subsector Aurelia into a festering hellscape. We thought our victory would mark the end of the war for the Scepter. We were wrong. New demonic incursions relentlessly plagued her planets, Aurelia, Typhon, Calderas, and Meridian. In response, the Imperial Guard the hammer of the Emperor was deployed en masse to the Scepter, to secure her, to defend her. Yet the incursions only grew in number, and soon were worsened by insurrection and madness among the guards' ranks. Now the Scepter sits helpless, racked by constant, endless, unremitting war. We are Space Marines. We are the Blood Ravens. We would act, yet we too are locked in warfare with one another. As Ariah Kyrus, our chapter master and chief librarian, has declared the heroes of Aurelia to be renegades. Now we are hunted by our own brothers, brothers unaware of the chapter master's secret allegiance to Alcare. A corrupt Space Marine chapter master, a militia crippled by disorder and turmoil. Demons. Renegades. A sector that knows only war. The Imperium has had enough. One solution remains for the sector. A solution with which I am all too familiar. The Ordo Malleus approaches the Holy Imperial Inquisition. Their colossal ships bear the munitions to perform exterminatus, cleansing every planet of the Sector of Life. Xenos and human, corrupt and innocent. All is not yet lost, however. Adrastia, Inquisitor of the Ordo Hereticus, has entered the fray. She knows the truth of Kyrus's heresy, but has not the power to halt the coming storm short of destroying the traitor herself. With the authority to combat the enemies of man by nearly any means, she is gathering any force she can muster. Allies among forces still loyal to the Imperium, and even enemies with a common interest of preserving the Sector, if only for future war. We can only hope she finds suitable allies, but hope is, of course, the first step down the road to disappointment. It's been a long time since I did anything with the Orcs, so it's going to be difficult to remember how their stuff goes. There's a few things that I remember about the campaign. Spire Golgotha is where we get our relic unit, the most powerful unit. Uh, and I remember how it ends. Which is a very interesting ending. Sork me, what happened? Mr. Nailbrain, status reporter. Status reporter's busted, Captain. Best guess the cruiser's been shot down into that jungly planet. Typhon, I think they calls it. Yorks! Destroy the orcs! We cannot tolerate their interloping. <laughs> Pansy Eldar, I'll cramp you good! And so we begin with the Eldar. What abilities do we have? Repair and stick bomb. Young Master Spookum should be around here somewhere too. He's not one to miss the stomping. Let's find him. Speed damage defense. He's taking fire Man. I gotta say, it is nice to have rebooters. I need to turn my headphones down to match the volume it should be. 
Uh, it is nice to have freebooters because, you know, I mean, we've played with normal orcs. We've played with um, Gorgoth's Headhunter. You know, we've got Space Marine orcs. So it's just nice to have a different kind of orc. Freebooters for the first time, like the classic orc type of the classic orc communication combined with pirate speech is really fucking good. It's so different. So different. It's so nice. Or are you just sleeping on the job? That hurts me feelings, Captain. I'll never get duffed by pansies. Maybe you should snazz up your armor there. It's embarrassing. Upgrade armor away. But it is so different. It's so good to hear just like pirate orcs, because why not? It's so nice of a difference. Ah, not within range. I don't remember what kind of gear or loadouts these guys can have. Kick bomb away! I have no real memory of what weapons any of them have. Getting them behind there. I wish I could remember what weapons they have and what heroes I have. Like, what's the last hero? I think it's a weird boy because a weird boy feels like something that would add to the group. It would add pretty well as a weird boy. There's also not all the other characters that it could be. Anyway, there's not a lot of other characters it could be, aside from a weird boy. Too bad those stick bombs didn't go deeper. Went further. Would have been nice. But sadly it did not. And thus I'm ever so slightly disappointed. But I can throw some more in a moment. Okay, let's try throwing at max range this time and see if it goes better. It's definitely better. Ooh, a chopper. Nice, we got ourselves a nice chopper. Do we have access to shooter boys right away, or is it just standard boys? Okay. I'm uncertain as to what it'll look like. It's probably like a mini teleporter. Well, the, the mech boy should totally do that. Well, these guys can get the free resources. Come on, and the last one. There we go. Oh, it just turns it into a stick. Cool. Oh, and it's got some teleporter things around it, so that's fine. But yeah, we just got standard boys. Oh, I can turn them into shooters. In the middle of a fight, their kit can be customized with all sorts of gobbins to make them more killy. Let's give them some of those then. Let's give them some burners. Difficult to remember the varying controls. Yeah, they can still do good in melee at least. Shooters up there. Let's demonstrate some brutal cunning and go round. <laughs> I wish Orcs were in Rogue Trader. Ooh, it'd be so nice to interact with Orcs in Rogue Trader, but as far as I can tell, there aren't any. I hope they get added in the future, because it'd be goddamn cool to have some 
some orc boys to fight against. I can only hope they're added at some point. I do need to um, play some more though. Some more Rogue Trader at some point. I think I will do it tomorrow. Though what is tomorrow relative to this video in this moment? Some local boys are poking around. Oi, you slot! Use part of my crew now! Any problems with that? You talk to the complaints department! That's me gone, by the way. Let's get in there! Come on, boys, go faster! You know what other unlocks? the boys can have. I can't really think of what else they have, might have aside from a knob and maybe extra armor. Yeah, the only thing I can think of. Uh, I'll have you come get these resources. Eldon, don't I normally get like armor or something from this? Oh, well, there we go. And look, we shaved this for you, yeah? I'll blow it up. Uh, I don't get to command them? Oh, I'm disappointed. Disappointing. And I don't... Yeah. Oh, well, these guys are actually shooter boys. So are my boys just combined with shooter boys as an unlock? I'm confused. I'm going to have to... I'll find out in a moment. Once we finish the first mission, we'll know for sure. If the boys are just a combi... Oops. Boys and shooter. Come on, get the boys in cover. Well, I guess not because they gotta burn, burn, burn. But that'll wipe them out at least, but the boys are dead. Ah, uh, well. It is what it is, and now my grenades are out because of that. Shoot the barrels, maybe. Moving unseen could do it. Fight the boys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this sucks. Gotta wait for this before I can sh blow them up. Alright, stick bombs out. That ought to clear the building. Yeah. Grenades can be thrown over walls. Yes, I know, but I just used them to crack a bunker, so I'm not going to be using them again. Disappointingly, of course. Come on, boys, and mess them up so we can get in there and... Actually, I'll just have Hugo clean the building. My, mech, my poor mech boy's barely doing any damage, which is sad. Right, you collect me some resources like a good looter. He's ready to pop out that juice. Some looter boys into the bunker, boy. Be nice. They can really dacker and make the barons all slow and suppressed. Oh no! Aye, aye, boss. Oh, I seem to have order done that. And Whoops! Good job, boys. Curse the Eldar will probably be coming after us. Oh, you know, let's just give him shooters this time. Not that that's a bad thing. I get your plan. Right, you go over there, you come up to the line. These boys can get on the line as well. And now they're shooter boys. So yeah, I can only assume their upgrades are armor and a knob. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, no, there's a weird boy character. What's the third? A storm boy, maybe? A storm? Maybe it's a storm boy. Yeah, maybe, maybe it is a storm boy. The only other character that I can think of that it might be is a storm boy. We got a commando, tech, and the captain, war boss. So yeah, storm boy is the only third I can think of. I can't think of anything else that it might be. Yeah. Right, get that nade out there. 
Oh, a rocket launcher. I wonder who gets that. Probably the mech. It's almost boring. All right, guys, get over here on the line. On the line. I mean, if I could have more boys, I would. I didn't miss a population boost in some way, did I? Alright, just try and get rid of them for me. Oh man, that's real long. Come on, finish him off, finish him off. There we go. Oh no! Wraith God! Let's go smash him! Man, also another disappointing thing when it comes to orcs that I only just now remembered. Uh, Battlefleet Gothic! They never had an orc campaign. Never had an orc campaign and that's just... sad. Because the orcs are my favorite faction you know, just favorite faction. I love playing the orcs in Gothic 1 with the skirmish mode. And then there's the other disappointment of that their ships aren't as customizable. Which was kind of disappointing. They were all, you know, cookie cutter. It's like you choose this one, this one, or this one. You can't say, I'll take this type of ship and then I'll put these weapons and armaments and whatnot on the ship using this many points. The same way you could in the first game. You can't do that in the second one. And I, that was so sad. Because that was like the favorite part about it. I could build a ship the way I wanted it. And, oh wow, they set up quick. Damn. All right, let's get you guys in there. But yeah, no orc campaign for, for it is so sad. Because they totally should have had a campaign. Like, there's no way they shouldn't have had a goddamn campaign. But orc, an orc campaign would have been awesome. I mean, sure, chaos. Yeah, I guess. Give them a campaign. But come on, at least go and give the orcs a campaign as well. I mean, I was expecting an Eldar campaign. Because the Eldar campaign would have worked the same way the Imperial Guard campaign does. Because... The way the Imperial Guard campaign works is, um, uh, you've got the three factions, you've got three different types of fleets, one for Space Marines, one for the Imperial fleet, and then one for the Adaptus Mechanicus. So, um, in the end, like, each camp, um, their campaign is the combination of all three fleets. But you get... Uh, fleets of each faction, so as a result. Mm -hmm. Tired. So as a result, you got like all three fleets, and in like one battle, you can have like three different fleets. I was expecting the Eldar to work the same. Like you'd have the Eldar, you'd have the Corsairs, and then you'd have the Drukhari. Because in the normal, in the campaign, when you're fighting against them, that's how they work. They're all a united fleet. So I was expecting you could have the Eldar campaign function the same as the Imperial Guard. You know, different story, of course, but the function would be the same. For the brothers and sisters you have killed, I shall erase you from existence. Well, you started it, Kaleth. Oi, Twiggy, what do all your boys and a smashed up jammy paste have in common? Come here, I'll show you. I love the orcs. But I mean, she started it. This is her own fault. Uh, let's stick you in here. Actually, no, over there you'll get the best. There. You guys go over there. Wait, how much health does she have? Does she has like, end of the campaign kind of health? No, she's just got super good resistances. I mean, there's no point in even getting resources. But what's the point in getting resources? With damage speed, the higher the greater the effect. But yeah, there's no point in getting resources because I can't buff my troops, I can't recruit anything else. So it's kind of a disappointment in that regard. 
that. Your I bones get a blow. You got good skinny. I'll give you that. You're getting all over the place. Look. That's the Shivering slime. Silencing you is reason enough for your death. Oh man, I just, just I just love orcs so much. They're awesome. Just they just they're the only race, in my opinion, in Warhammer that has fun all the time. They're just loving it. I mean, you don't. I mean, sure, you could say the same with the Drakari. You know that they're slave having and whatnot. You could make the argument that they're also having fun, but. It just doesn't seem the same, you know? They don't seem to have the same kind of fun as the orcs do. Why is he, his XP so much lower than the captain's? That's weird. Your victory is hollow, orc. You shall be washed away in the coming storm. You should have had more of your skinny boys this morning if you were gonna shoot down my cruiser. No, look at ya. Why, I'm gonna. gonna. They shooting our buildings! Um. Captain. Not now, Mr. Nailbrain. I'm still sassing this tomb of Eldar. Captain, you know I wouldn't normally, but there's a matter that's big here. Pressing and heavily armed, Captain. Parley. What the bleeding sogger? Oh. Captain Bloodflag. You have made quite a name for yourself looting the petty lords of this subsector. You have also been known as a mercenary under their employ. I? What's that to you? By your cat and your boys here. You're one of those inquisitive type thingies. I thought yous were more for killing orcs than paying them. I like your hat, by the way. I am here to offer you a business proposition. There is a man, a space marine, I would like you to kill. Chapter Master Kyrus of the Blood Ravens. Perhaps you are familiar with him? I don't know one of those humies from another. But Space Marines is dead hard. Why do you want him? Because if he isn't eliminated, this entire subsector will be obliterated. Then who will you loot, Captain? And who will you fight? Obliteration, eh? Can't say that'd be good for me and me boys. What's in it for old blood flag, eh? Giving you money is pointless. Giving you technology is obviously out of the question. But I can give you a fight. Three Imperial regiments, a battlefield of your choosing. Hmm. Throw in that hat, and you got a deal! Suddenly not, green skin! No hat, no deal! Kill your own posh humies and leave the orcs out of it! I has got more pointy and gits to stomp for blasting me ship out the void anyways! Huh. You do not really think that the Eldar shot your ship down, do you, Captain? You twiggy thing! You think you can sword an ox cruiser and walk away? I'll stomp you, posh me or rot! Then I makes you wish you never heard of Captain Bloodflag! Nah, orcs got the best campaign out of the six. Way one. Give me a Easy. Spear. It, it's just fun. It's good fun when you're playing the Orcs. Not enough games that you play as the Orcs when it comes to Warhammer. It's always Space Marines, for fuck's sake. Too many Space Marine-focused games. Let me play as the Orcs. I mean, you got blood... What is it? It's something blood and teeth. Shooter, blood and teeth? Some combination of three words. Definitely blood and teeth. I don't remember the third, but it might be Shooter. That's a good game, that one. That is, I should probably play that at some point, too. That's a good game. Rocket, armor, and a chopper. A pointy sword knife to stab with. I don't think it's very big, so I don't think the captain's going to use it. But there needs to be more games with orcs. Plain and simple. Good burner. Storm boys. I, I, I think we always get the first one for free at some point, so I might as well get Storm boys. Okay, so it is him. Oh, breakfast is back! What I miss? 
Why's the captain all grim? Captain, I reckon that you and me got your blood up with blasting a ship and all, but stomping a space marine, boss. They don't come much harder than that. Couldn't you have got a bit more looted scrap out of it? Them Inquisition humans can't be trusted any further than they can be thrown. Which in that one's case might be a bad example. <laughs> She's just trying to blast us no matter what kind of deals we come to. This now is all in the same truck. That's cunning days, Captain. So now we can crash the truck. Uh, right. Oh, we got a mech boy in that squad. Bigger brains, warp path. Warp head. Oh, wait, that's the weird boy. Whoops. Hammers, metering greener, boost damage, knob leader, burners, more metal, increased health, big shot, massive explosion, more health, more tanky. All right, what do we got? Ooh, he gets a claw? Well, yeah, that's fair. All, every orc boss in every, every one of these games gets a freaking claw. It's only fair he also gets one, but let's take it. Yeah, it's just another chopper. So, yeah, that's. Give him a nice claw, some good fancy armor, which gives on melee increased damage. Well, that's not bad. And 42 armor, that's pretty good. Uh, heals orcs and boosts their ability, allowing them to keep fighting. Sure, take the fighting juice. Sure, nah, we don't need that. Uh, suppression resist, increased health of nearby allies, terrifies nearby enemies, reducing their damage. Sure, grab your boss pole. That's what it is, right? Yeah, boss rack. Same thing, whatever. <laughs> Uh, abilities. Let's just look at the last allied squads around. Periodically reinforce as more orcs come to join the wall. Well, that's pretty good. Here is by healing squads around him. Reinforce more often. And what? Well, okay, so we're definitely getting that. Jump a short distance, dealing damage around the point of impact. Deep breath, sucking enemies towards him. We can say defense. Teleports a bunch of mutinous scallywags into the battle. Who knows whose side they'll take. Reduce energy cost and time over the abilities. Uh, I no, I think I'm just going to put it all into health. Get that free reinforcement right off the bat. Gains boost to armor and enemies that attack him immediately take damage. Health, more reinforcement more soon. Now, yeah, we'll definitely boost there. Did he even... No change. Sad. All right. Well, let's just gear them all up first. Beamy Def Gun. Give him a stick to shank him with. Damn. Spookums and Nail Brain. And that's just Nail Brain. So, you know what? I'll give you the rocket launcher. I mean, I could make him also a frontline boy. I think giving him the rocket launcher is probably the best. Accurate versus vehicle, AoE, knockback. Uh, if we don't blow him up, at least it'll blow him off their feet. 35 damage, base. Nice beamy death gun. Let's check the damage. Oh, actually, uh, range damage, 39 to 40. Uh, I think it goes up by one point. Uh, it's 100% accurate, good range, good versus all. So it's it's good. Uh, oh, well, I guess I'll give you this. Actually, what do you have? It was like a poison knife. Or a toxic knife and a shooter, but I think you'll do better with a nice big ol' axe. He's just, well, or should I give him a nice... Looks like he loses his poison, though. Hold on. Well, how come that's all poisony, and then I give him an actual slightly better one, and he loses the poison? Oh, well, melee damage 50, goes up by 5, skill goes up Basically double. Or should I just give him a nice big old chopper? Well, the damage goes down. For some stupid yeah. reason. Why does the damage go down? I mean, it's slightly better versus buildings, but the vehicles is what I'd really wanted. It's better versus... Nah, you can have the, st the nice small pointy stick. Okay, now... Prove repair. And can fix infantry. Oh, because cyborg. Vehicle slowly, but automatically repair. Invincibility. The Mega Rumbler. No longer has a setup for or tear down. Well, he didn't have for the other weapon. Wait, does this have a setup time? Requires setup. Well, I guess I gotta do that first. 
Uh, when destroyed, I get a second chance. Reactivating with low health. This ability works only if the Master Now Brain is not deployed. Uh, can equip additional accessory. Uh, now restores energy. Teleport to a target location. No, we're going to do these two roads. I'm going to get this. And then we'll get... Do I want Cyborg straight up that quickly? No, I think I want to get Mega Rumbler. Because a small earthquake disabling nearby infantry. Oh yeah, I'll go all damage first, I think. Now for you! Well, let's just see if I even want this. Uh, pulls towards... Yeah, trade placement. Nah. Alright, so which of these do I want? Toss equipped stick, stone or bow in a circle around him. Call in an orc boy that will taunt enemies. Additional accessory. With extra bombs when using and you'll be able to watch toss. Oh yeah, uh, let's take your stick bomb away and give it to him. Uh yeah, let's definitely boost the number of stick bombs you throw, I think. Uh okay, it's ability for each type of weapon. Oh, that's cool. Uh impale, yeah, rockets. Uh, volatile shells that deal devastating damage. No, nah, we're still giving you that. Now for you. Do I want this? Increase range, adds explosion on takeoff. Increase height, increasing damage. Add stunt default abilities. Uh, regenerates to full health while in combat. And further improves health from Frenzy. Oh, well that's cool. What's Frenzy? Disembowel. I'm going off. Pressing the bleed. Using ability causes him to regain health. Health money. Well, I'm definitely doing the middle one. Stab. Increase damage. Demoralizes. Gets knockback immunity. Adds stun to default or ability. Unlocked abilities. I mean, I could get two here, then go to here. Uh... Increases the height of his jump rate, increases the damage and area of effect. Lands a target that was. Then has explosion to take off, knocking back. Well, that's to take off. Increases the height, drastically improving damage and area, as well as reducing his ability charge times. Uh, adds damage and knockback to his jump on landing. More energy. So, yeah, I could do two here, three here, five here, but we're going health first for you, definitely. Okay, I hope people enjoyed the first episode. Stay tall, we're going into the next.